I'm Ice Ravezo. Um, I'm here with the mayor, Mayor Mike Duggan. And uh, we just want to talk about the census of 2020. I just got a lot of questions that I think the community would, you know, want to know by, by the participation being so low in 2010 right. and the expectations of 2020, you know, it doesn't seem like it's not such a good turnout of, you know, we're trying to build awareness. Being a person that understands how important census is and you know what it, what it means to the community to be a part of it but i'm also from a community where a lot of people don't understand and and i think mainly because of their you know their trust with the government you know it's just it's just certain things and certain concerns so i i try to put myself in their shoes and and they position and you know for instance you got people who who ID is uh, from like from a suburban area or any a, a, a place outside of Detroit, but they actually live in Detroit. So it'd be, it'd be things like that that they're concerned about. Like, so how can why would I participate in this? And then you, how can I how can I participate? My ID doesn't say this, but I actually live there. You know, you got people scared. Like, you know, my, would I get in trouble or what? Uh, so. We need to get everybody in Detroit counted, and you're right. Uh, ten years ago, the city did such a poor job, we had the lowest response rate in the country. And the money that funds our schools, uh, that funds Medicaid, that funds hot lunch programs, that funds so many things, is based on our count. And, and Detroit probably lost $200 million in services that we needed uh, to help people. Um, but as you know, the federal law says that the Census Bureau can't share your information with anybody for 70 years. They can't share it with another federal agency. They can't share it with Customs and Immigration. They can't share it with the IRS. They can't share it with your car insurance company. Uh, for 70 years, it is locked up. The only thing it's used for is to decide how many legislators we get representing us and how much money comes to our community.